All right, straight to the point. Uplay has a shitty refund policy, Ubisoft has a bad history of putting out unfinished games, and I don't have the money to spend on games that don't fucking work. So here's how I managed to get my money back. The following is a long ass stupid fucking rant, so if you're just trying to find the solution to your problem, click the timestamp below and get straight to the mean potatoes. I've given Ubisoft a lot of chances over the years, and I feel like they've earned that. I mean, after all, it was Splinter Cell, not Metal Gear Solid, that was my first real stealth game, and playing Assassin's Creed 1 was like living a dream, which made it all that much harder to accept its inevitable violent suicide. So yeah, I've been burned by them before too. I got really excited for Watch Dogs, like many of us did, only for it to come out, not the product that was advertised to us. And I got especially excited for The Division, a game that I sincerely enjoyed playing with my friends during the beta. <laughs> but didn't quite capture that same lightning in the bottle whenever I played the finished product. So imagine my timid and uncertain fucking surprise whenever all of my friends tell me that The Division 2 is actually pretty good. It's not exactly something I'm ready to believe. I went into Destiny 2 thinking the same thing and oh, whoopsie daisy, it's a piece of shit. So I did what any self-respecting gamer on a budget should do before they make a purchase. I checked the refund policy. Let me go ahead and read this shit to you real quick. Whenever you search you play refund policy, you get this page. How do I request a refund? To request a refund, you can submit a refund request ticket to the Ubisoft store support team by clicking here. Three lines of empty space. Now, if you decide to take a class on web copywriting or journalism or mind control, one of the first things you learn is that you have to provide the most important information in the top of the article. And then if anybody needs additional details, they can go ahead and scroll further into what is essentially a glossary of extra information. So I made the heinous mistake of thinking that after searching you play refund policy and getting this simple link to obtain a refund, that I would be safe to buy the product without fear of it not working on my system and me not being able to get my money back for it. And why would I assume otherwise? Steam has has refunds now. Hitler has refunds now. So I rolled the dice, bought the game, installed it on my relatively high-end PC that I've spent more than a couple fucking dollars on, and attempted to play it with no hiccups until... Yeah, you fucking peed your pants a little bit, didn't you? The game has a micro stutter, which is not the end of the world, and it occasionally hitches in the middle of competitive gameplay, which is not ideal, and uh, I can't use Discord, which is fucking bullshit, because I like Discord, and it's my goddamn right as an American. And before you remind me that the game has built-in voice chat, I am aware of that, but it also has built-in controller support, and if your keyboard and mouse just suddenly stopped working, you wouldn't accept that as an excuse now, would you? You paid for the game to work a certain way. It's kind of like if I had ordered a burger and got served a spam sandwich between two Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Sure, I could eat it in a pinch, but it's not what I fucking ordered. To give you a better idea of the problem and why it was so frustrating, I would be in a voice call with my friends playing The Division, and I wouldn't be able to understand anything that they were saying because did you get all that? Fortunately, this isn't my first rodeo. I've had this problem before, but it's usually because I've got some beast of a program like OBS running in the background, eating up all my CPU usage. So I pulled out that old resource monitor and I checked and what normally looks like a heartbeat monitor wound up looking like this instead. The game itself runs at such a high processor usage that attempting to run literally any other program at the same time is just an exercise in wind pissing. And as it turns out, I'm not the only one experiencing this problem. Supernoid on Reddit says, I've been trying to fix this for years, literal years. Ubisoft has been dead silent for as long as I have been trying to fix this, say since 2016. If you Google the issue, it's rampant, everywhere on the net. It's not just on overclocked i5s either. The problem is predominantly occurring on i5 CPUs in general. Snowdrop clearly isn't optimized at all for this architecture. Ubisoft has never once communicated about it or offered a fix. Why is it that I always find out about this shit after I buy the game? And I'm always one of like six people with the problem. So shit's fucked, Captain. I decided to go ahead and follow that link and try to get my refund. Immediately, I can tell we're gonna have a great time. This this isn't a refund request page. This is tech support. So I type in it anyway. I say game is 100 plus percent CPU usage, even when run in windowed 720 at low settings on an i5. Requesting refund. James C. responds. Hello, Jay Gatsby. Thank you for contacting Ubisoft customer support. In order to fully troubleshoot the problem. Whoa, wait, whoa, having, whoa, James. I have not requested tech support. I clicked the link that repeatedly results from Ubisoft support articles explaining how to request a refund. My product does not work due to the i5 processor and compatibility with the Snowdrop engine. I would like a refund, please. Jonathan K. Not James C response. Hello Jay Gats, thank you for updating your ticket with us, as noted on our return policy link below. 
all sales on PCR final lines completed. That said, in order to see about the possibility of an exception, we will need you to complete the steps sent in the previous email to see if that resolves the issue and if not, please provide us with rooms info file. I fucking hate shit like this. I fucking hate shit like this because this is why console gamers get so irritated at PC gamers for being way up on their high horse. It's not necessarily that PC isn't the superior platform. It is. But because of how many variations and differences there can be from system to system to system, there winds up being so many goddamn hoops you have to jump through just to play the same fucking games your friends bought just yesterday. So I set aside about an hour of my time to do French homework for fucking Rayman, and by the end of it all, I'm able to respond. After ending Steam, Discord, Chrome, and as many other additional processes as physically possible without rendering the game unplayable, I can confirm that the game still runs at 60 plus percent CPU usage, which totals out to 100 plus CPU usage when summed with my vital processes. Amy Poehler responds, Hello Jay Gay Baby, thank you for contacting Ubisoft support. I I am glad to see that you had improvement. But sorry I am not you having improvement. Not I took a look at Yerm's info and I see a large number of Chrome tabs open. Oh, the Chrome tabs Chrome I just told you that I fucking closed? Reset. This thrilling back and forth between myself and Smarter Child goes on for about four more days, so I'll give you the highlights of it. They recommended that I disable all of my startup programs, which I did. They recommended that I make sure I have all my Microsoft C++ redistributables, which I did. They recommended I run a check disk, which... <laughs> Crack is whack, y'all, but okay. And just a point to mention, I only had the same person twice one time in this entire exchange. Every other message was a brand new person. I feel like I've met Ubisoft's entire tech support team by now. But if you follow all their stupid fucking instructions and respond to them every step of the way, you might eventually get Emily B, who responds. Hello, Gay Jatsby. We have reported this up to our development team and they are currently in the process of investigating the issue. As such, we've forwarded your system information and the troubleshooting we've tried with you thus far to them to aid in their investigation. Please check our forums for more updates or patch notes when they become available. And so that was that. I gave up and waited patiently for the developers to possibly one day deliver a patch that might render my game playable. No! No, that's not what I fucking did! Total Biscuit didn't die for me to get robbed by this punk-ass Prince of Persia! I'm getting my fucking money back! You have stated that, as you have troubleshot the issue with me thus far, you are now forwarding the issue to your development team. You concede that the issue cannot be troubleshot further, and that the defect is some issue with the design of your product. In my state, digital refund law is stated thus. Whether you can receive a refund is dependent on the retailer's return and refund policies. Your returns and cancellations policy is stated thus. Products with downloadable content or that were on final sale are not eligible for returns or refunds except in the case of a defective product. So, we have confirmed that the product in the state that I have purchased it in is defective. It does not operate reasonably, under reasonable conditions of use. Per your own returns and cancellations policy, I am eligible for a refund in this case. I would like to please request my refund again at this time. Hello Jay Gatsby. Thank you for contacting Ubisoft Store Support. I have issued you a refund for $64.79 to the payment method associated with your order. Hey everybody, Gatsby here, and uh, I have needed to make this video for about a month now. I know it's not our typical fare, but it was an idea and I needed to do it, and I didn't expect it to take so long. And it took so long. So it's out in the world now. I hope you guys liked it. If you're new here and uh, you're interested in checking out the other shit that we do, you should do that. Click some of the buttons and go to those things and see how you feel about them. If you're not new here... What's up, dude? Why don't you hang out more often? We do shit on Saturdays. Fucking come out to streams. God damn it. I'm just fucking around. I know a lot of you guys don't know that we're streaming when we're streaming and would prefer a YouTube announcement, but I'm kind of skittish about doing that regularly. I've heard of a lot of streamers getting their channels banned for promoting Twitch streams from their YouTube. So instead, you should swing by our Discord. Link to that is below. Swing by our Twitter. Link to that is below. Swing by our Pornhub. Patreon is what I meant to say. Patreon. 
Link to that's below, and here are the names of the fine men and women that have been helping us keep this stupid motherfucker going. Jim Silver, Gabriel Darris, Benjamin Wyland, David Carter, Soul, Van Nutter, Airman121, Serso Yeet, Isaac Svensson, Higgy Asu, Real English Rage, Huge Ass, Pac Money, A Demigod, Everfree Magus, the Mr. Mayo, Jin that weird name guy, and Grimlock. Thank you all so much for everything that you do for us, and as always, if you can't provide your money, then you can always provide your time. We appreciate you coming out to streams and watching these videos and sharing them with your friends. Thanks so much. I'm Jay Gatsby. That's been it. That's, that's all. That's all I get today.